Hi everyone, in my previous video, I have shown you the format of writing an informal letter. Now today, I am going to show you the format of writing a formal letter. A formal letter is one written in formal and ceremonious language and follows a certain stipulated format. Any type of business letter or letter to authorities falls within this given category. Now let us see the format of writing a formal letter. In the first line, we write sender's address. The sender's address is usually put on top, left hand corner of the page. The address should be complete and accurate in case the recipient of the letter wishes to get in touch with the sender for further communication. Now then comes the date. The sender's address is followed by the date just below it. This is the date on which the letter is being written. It is important in formal letters as they are often kept on record. Then we write the receiver's address or the address of the person written to. We write the receiver's address after the date. Then we write the subject of the letter. After writing the receiver's address, we write the subject. We sum up the purpose of writing the letter in one line. This helps the receiver focus on the subject of the letter in one glance. Then we write the salutation or greetings. This is where you greet the person you are addressing the letter to. Bear in mind that it is a formal letter. So the greetings must be respectful and not too personal. The general greetings used in formal letters are Sir or Madam. If you know the name of the person, the salutation may also be as Mr. Raman or Miss Seema. But remember, you cannot address them only by their first name. It must be the full name or only their last name. Then comes the body of the letter. This is the main content of the letter. It is either divided into three paras or two paras. If the letter is brief, the purpose of the letter should be made clear in the first paragraph itself. The purpose of the letter should be made clear in the first paragraph itself. The tone of the content should be formal. Do not use any flurry language. Another point to keep in mind is that the letter should be concise and to the point. And always be respectful and considerate in your language. Then comes the complimentary close after the body of the letter. That is yours sincerely, yours faithfully. Then in the end you will write the name of the person who is writing the letter. Now I am going to show you one complaint letter for faulty iron. Now let us see the format how we are going to write the complaint letter. In the first line, we write the sender's address that is 14 Padma Bal Street, Chennai. Then we write the date on which the letter is being written. Then we write the address of the receiver. So Messrs. Lands and Company Limited. 40 Shopping Paradise, Chennai. Then comes the subject of the letter. So we are writing the complaint letter for faulty iron. Then comes the salutation or greetings that is dear sir or madam. If you know the name, you can write the name of the person. Then comes the body of the letter. Dear sir, I wish to inform you that days back, I bought a steam iron from your shop. I specially drove 40 kilometers to shop at your showroom because I had heard that 
your products are always of standard. But I am sorry to say that when I opened the packing at home, the iron was all damaged. The handle was broken and so was the temperature control knob. Also, the base of the iron was rusted. I cannot understand how you manage to keep such faulty piece in your shop. Kindly replace my iron at the earliest. Then after writing the body of the letter, we will write a complimentary close, yours faithfully and the name of the person who is writing the letter. So, Rita Mangat is writing the letter to Mercedes Lens and Company Limited, Chennai for a complaint of a faulty iron. Now, I hope children, you must have understood the pattern of writing the formal letter. Thank you.